Sometimes um, it's time for me to move uh, my old units out, okay, to show you what uh, we have here. So this Einstein is uh, pretty, pretty exciting here because uh, it, it shows you the graph of um, the power adjustments that you have. So this thing goes all the way down to 256, which is a lot, um, you know, comparing to what I have on my old units, which is about 1 over 64, 1 over 128. This one goes down 1 over 256. And it gives um, one tenth increment, which is very, very precise. Uh, the old units that uh, I've been using, they are one stop increments. So you can see, uh, if you are interested, you can go to my website, you can actually look at the, the works that I've done, and you will notice that they are, and yeah, just remember they are done with uh, lights that have one stop increment, and that's the thing I've been living with for the last four years. So. This is like heaven to me. So about one tenth of a stop increment here. There we have that. We always we also have a modeling lamps that we can actually turn them on, and uh, you know make them proportionate to the the flash that we have here. Very very powerful. Yeah. Then after that, there's the ready the, with the sound and the, the flash turning on and off. But one of the most important things that I like to show you here is the mode here. So. Let me just turn that off because it's a little bit hot, yeah? So let me just go back there, model full and turn it off. Okay, the ready light. This one is the, the slave, but this one is what I want to show you. Color and action. So action mode sacrifices a little bit of um, color accuracy in different power levels, but uh, you're gonna get a very, very quick and rapid T.1 timing, which really allows you to, to freeze. And for a photographer like me, I really appreciate that because uh, I usually do things like getting the models to move really, really quickly for my shots. So basically this, this is very useful. And if I go back here, there is, oh my goodness, can't see that. Oh, there it is, you have color mode. So once we're in color mode, um, well, the color temperature will be very consistent, all right? So if you increase or decrease the power, you can actually see this thing being displayed 1 over 8,000, but you look at the color temperature, it's the same. Yeah, I can't say the same thing for, for my old sets here. Okay, so right here, we have the back panel of this thing, which is, really, really sophisticated for um, some, something like that. Um, if, if you notice the, the old flashes that I have over there, all right, those things are really, really stone age compared to something like this. But you can see right here, there's a power scale which goes from uh, full power to one over 256. Uh, my older flashes can go down to one over 64 and the other one can go down to one over 128. And those things, they do not um, have consistent uh, color, temperature, and you know, no, no speed control, really. So that's what we have here. If you notice that there is this setting called color, you can change it to action. So if I change it to action, yeah, your T.1 timing is uh, gonna be much faster. If I change it back to color, you can look at the T.1 timing. It's getting a little bit slower, but your color temperature changes. So if I change it there, you see the color temperature rising. This is perfectly normal. Uh, if I use the old ones, it can rise up to about 6,500 degrees to about 6,800 degrees. That's quite typical. But uh, this one gives me an option to change between action mode and color mode, which I appreciate a lot. Yeah. So with this, you can also mount the Cyber Commander, all right, the Cyber, Cyber Sync Transceiver. But uh, in this case, I found it to be a little bit complicated for me because it's just about a week or, or two of usage. So I'm still trying to get used to it. But um, there are so many things that I can, can change in there. And the thing is that I can change every aspect of uh, what this flash can do from a position that, uh, that where I'm standing. So I don't have to move around too much, um, you know, compared to my old flashes, which is basically an exercise in uh, traveling sideways, you know. Yeah, so I'm like running here, changing, running there, changing numbers, so all, all over the place. So I'm trying to get 
this integrated into my shooting style. But as you can see here, right, so this one is a 1 over 16 and I, I really like the, the way that this thing can, um, can just gun it out like bam, 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 like that. It's uh, quite a quite a boon for a photographer like me because I really like to shoot super quick yeah so this is totally exciting yeah uh, sometimes I'm uh, I have a confession to make yeah sometimes I just feel like a fanboy yeah